Hey, what is going on guys? Tech enthusiast here and this is a camera comparison video between the Samsung Galaxy S10e against the Xiaomi Mi 9. So the Mi 9 is one of the best flagship phones you can get at a low price. Samsung has finally launched a compact phone with flagship specs and in this comparison, I want to find out which of these phones has the better camera. Just before starting the comparison, here is an overlook of the camera specs. The Samsung Galaxy S10e has a dual camera setup, a 12 megapixel standard lens with OIS and a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. The Xiaomi Mi 9 has a triple camera setup, a 48 megapixel standard lens, a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. For video recording, the Galaxy S10e and the Mi 9 can record videos at 60 frames per second for both 1080p and 4K. For slow motion videos, both of the phones can record 240 frames per second at 1080p and 960 frames per second at 720p. Starting off is this violet shrub flower. For the most part they look very similar. The S10e is a little darker here and has a little more details. Next is this yellow tulip and again they look very similar to each other but the Galaxy S10e has captured the colors more accurately than the Mi 9. This is a close shot of a tree bark. They both look very good here but if you look around the edges, the S10e kept it in focus. Here is a photo of a post box, not a lot going on here but in terms of color accuracy, the Galaxy S10e is warmer looking than it actually is so I will have to give it to the Mi 9. Next is a photo of a toy truck and they look the same, I'm not seeing any differences here. Now we'll have a look at the zooming capabilities for both of these phones. Firstly is the standard photo and then the ultra wide angle and the Galaxy S10e is better here. Colors are better which you can tell by looking at the sky. Here is another photo and then the ultra wide angle and as you can see the Galaxy S10e is able to fit a lot more than the Mi 9. Moving on to a portrait photo, I would say the Galaxy S10e has better colors and the Mi 9 is a little warmer here. In terms of the details, they are both doing a good job but the Mi 9 has slightly better edge detection. This is a portrait photo of a toy figure and again a little warmer on the Mi 9. As for the Galaxy S10e, the blurring is better than the Mi 9 and that was with the default settings. This is an indoor photo with natural lighting coming in through the window and the Galaxy S10e is vibrant here whereas the Mi 9 looks dull. This is an indoor photo with room lighting conditions. The Mi 9 has a lot more shadows under the lighting. However, on the Galaxy S10e, the photo is brighter overall and you can see a lot more. On this photo of a Logitech mouse, the Galaxy S10e has better colors and also sharper looking which you can tell by looking at the text. On this photo, the noise is very evident on the Mi 9. If you look at the lower half of the photo, the S10e is brighter and has less noise. This photo was taken with minimal lighting with night mode enabled for both of the phones. And the Galaxy S10e takes the win here. Moving on to outdoor low light photos with very little lighting. The Galaxy S10e has night mode on already and the Mi 9 is without night mode and you can't really see anything on the Mi 9. Then with the night mode enabled on the Mi 9, yes it is brighter but there is a lot of noise. And lastly, both with the night mode enabled, the Mi 9 is brighter but again it is noisier of the two. This is a focus test video recording on the Samsung Galaxy S10e to see how fast it focuses with the background and the foreground object. This is a focus test video recording on the Xiaomi Mi 9 to see how fast it focuses with the background and the foreground object. Do look out for the animated speaker icons so you know which device the audio is coming from. This is a 1080p video recording at 30 frames per second between the Samsung Galaxy S10e against the Xiaomi Mi 9. So I'm doing this comparison because I feel that the Galaxy S10e is one of the best compact phones you can get for your money and it's priced similarly to the Mi 9 depending on where you buy it from. I picked it up for about £500, the Snapdragon version. Anyway, let's see what we've got in the surrounding area. So we've got some geese just over there. Nothing close here. 
So I'm just going to go up and do a short jog to see how the video stabilization is between the two. And we'll stop the video here. This is a 4K video recording at 30 frames per second between the Samsung Galaxy S10e against the Xiaomi Mi 9. So this is being recorded on the weekend and the weather is very good. It's not too hot or cold and luckily it is not windy. Okay, so I'm just going to do a short jog to see how the video stabilization is between the two. And we're going to stop at this lake here and see what we've got. So we've got pigeons, crows, geese and swans. And let's just take a recording of the surrounding area. So that is the end of this camera shootout. For daylight photos it was very close but I would say the Galaxy S10e had better color accuracy and generally better overall. For the ultra wide angle photos again the Galaxy S10e is better as you were able to capture a lot more than the Mi 9. For portrait photos they were very similar however not as good as the Pixel 3. For the indoor photos and low light photos the Galaxy S10e is better of the two. For video recording, both of the phones were very good in 1080p. As for 4K, the Mi 9 seemed to have better video stabilization. I preferred the audio quality from the Galaxy S10e as it was clearer and louder. For slow motion videos, both of the phones can record up to 960 frames per second at 720p, but I would say the Mi 9 had slightly better video quality. So what did you think of this comparison video? Do let me know in the comment section. As for the price difference, it is £75 between the two if you buy it from eGlobal Central and I personally feel the Galaxy S10e is the better overall phone as it has more features such as expandable storage, reverse wireless charging, USB 3.1 and so on. Now, I hope this video helped you make a decision. I have also done a speed test and benchmark comparison which you can find on my channel. Now if you have enjoyed this video then give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time here then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up so make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release those videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram and like always thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.